disgrace this the way we both be. <laughs> Uh, we, we need to look at the statistics before the game ends. Yes, we will recap the statistics here as we go down to recap uh, some statistics. Um, does one of you decide to go to the scoring summary? Wait, we'll... Um, we will see what the scoring summary was for this... Um, and again, we saw in the first quarter that there was that interception for 68 yards done by Lane, and then Lynch with that 30-yard run for another touchdown in the first quarter, which just killed the uh, Broncos as uh, Denver scored a field, 24-yard field goal. And then uh, Seattle had a 30-yard pass that was caught by Tate, and we had just and um, for Denver, we had Julius Thomas, who scored the first uh, touchdown of pass for the Broncos, but that two-point conversion was fail, which was an interesting play call at the time, as well as catch for the 22-yard pass uh, for Seattle to bring them up. And in the, the second half, in the third quarter, uh, Thomas, and for Julius Thomas for the Denver Broncos had an 18-yard pass, and Seattle answered that with a 43-yard run and by Lynch, and then Lynch again with a 24-yard run, just dominating. And then there was Decker caught that amazing 80-yard pass by painting Manning with that completed two-point conversion. And then we had Smith, who returned an interception, forget this, 100 yards. That's just amazing. That is a Greg Gumbel, Greg Gumbel Super Bowl record. Super Bowl record there as, as, as um, let me just make sure I'm getting this name right, is that it. Pam scored a seven yard pass Tammy. in the two home conversion Tammy. Tammy. Tammy scored a uh, seven yard pass from Payne Manning. Two point conversion was failed. And then Denver scored for Julius Thomas, an 18 yard pass from Payne and Manning. And the two point conversion was good. And we. By the way, let's look at these. Here. 546 yards for Peyton Manning, five touchdowns, yeah, three interceptions. The punter also threw an interception. For Seattle, Russell Wilson threw for 188 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception on the first play of the game. Running the ball. Uh, Broncos didn't really run it at all, and Seahawks Lynch, 114 yards and three TDs, and receiving, is this recording? Uh, yes. Okay. Right. Julius Thomas, 200. 81 yards receiving on 15 catches and three touchdowns. Welker at 81 yards. Decker had only one catch, but it was for an 80-yard touchdown. Demarius Thomas, 67 yards. 21 yards for Moreno. 16 yards and a TD for Tammy. For the Seahawks, Zach Miller was their leading receiver with 62 yards, Lockett 38 and a touchdown, Baldwin 37, Golden Tate 35 and a touchdown, Kirsten Robinson one catch each for eight yards, and no one cares about blocking. <laughs> uh, let's see, sacks. Bron the Broncos never got a single sack. Seahawks, on the other hand, got four sacks. 
Chancellor, Wagner, Maxwell, and Smith. Interceptions, Cox, Wagner, Smith, and Lane with the interceptions for the Seahawks. Broncos Carter got an interception. And let's look at those Seahawks yards on interceptions. Malcolm Smith, a 100-yard touchdown return. Jeremy Lane, a 68-yard touchdown return. Kicking, Hoska, 7 for 7 on extra points. As for the Broncos, they didn't try a single extra point in the game and made one 24-yard field goal. Punting, 141-yard punt, and returning. Not much to speak of. So, now we'll...